Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Rice and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of financial freedom through thriving photography business. Today, we're talking about the difference between a sole proprietor and an LLC when you're setting up your business entity. So let's jump in. forget to hit that like button on this video so that other photographers just like you can find it more easily and hit that subscribe button so that you get notified every week when we put new videos out. Now, before we jump into all the things legal, I wanted to let you know about a free guide that I have just for you guys. It's the nine steps to making your photography business more official. And so you know, setting up your business entity, your sole proprietor or your LLC, that's one of the steps, but there's eight more to help you get things set, get your business legit um, so that you are, you know, you have the foundation that you need to grow your business. So that is linked in the description. You can go check that out and download it today. Okay. First of all, I wanted to start out by saying little disclaimer, I'm not a tax professional. Um, I'm going to be sharing based off of my own experiences and talking with my CPAs, my tax professionals. But I do suggest that after you watch this video, get kind of a framework of where you think you want to go, whether you want to lean towards a sole proprietor or an LLC, and then talk to a tax professional to make sure that that would be the best move for you. So sole proprietor, LLC, that can kind of sound kind of scary. And so I want to kind of break down what each of the two entities are um, and sort of like the differences between them and then which you know, would benefit more from like what kind of people would want to go for a sole proprietor and which would want to go for an LLC. So let's start with a sole proprietor. First of all, a sole proprietor is usually less expensive to set up. It's, it's um, easier to set up. You can do it quickly and you can do it online. Just search, you know, on your state set up sole proprietor and you'll find it. Um, you don't have to go through a system like legal zoom to set it up. You can just go straight through your state website. Um, so it's fairly simple. Usually you just need a DBA or, you know, doing business as it's basically just your registered business name. And then it's connected to your social security number. So you don't need, um, an EIN or anything like that. It's just your social security number and everything like that. So a sole proprietor is, um, you know, and really the difference between a sole proprietor and LLC comes down to um, one of them being the way that you're taxed. And so as a sole proprietor, this is considered pass through income. So what that means is it's just going to be on your regular tax return as additional income. So it's a pretty simple to, um, you know, keep track of, to consolidate onto your tax return. Um, and you don't have to file extra tax returns and because it's just part of your normal regular income, it's connected to your social security number. Um, and so you, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to set up and as pass through income, um, whatever money you make, just goes straight on your regular tax return like any other income would from a W-2 job or whatever, maybe a 1099, anything like that. It would all go on your regular um your regular tax forms. Now an LLC is a little bit different. For one, it is usually a little bit more expensive to set up somewhere in like the $300 range. Um, and you know, to get the paperwork and you are assigned an EIN and that is an employer identification number. And that's the number instead of your social security number that you're going to use to, um, you know, for people to find your business, you set up your bank accounts, things like that with your EIN instead of your social security number. Now with a um, an LLC, what it does it, it, is it separates your business from your personal assets. So it's a completely separate entity. Whereas as a sole proprietor, it's under your social security number. Everything's kind of mixed up in the pot together. With an LLC, you have your personal you know, assets, that's things connected to your social security number, and then you have your business, your LLC. So um, that's a really big difference between a sole proprietor and an LLC is it separates your personal assets from your business assets. And that can be beneficial especially if you like own a home or something like that in the event that you, the photographer got sued, which 
is not super likely, but it happens. And so in the event that you get sued as an LLC, your personal assets are protected. People cannot come after your personal assets because your business is completely separate. As a sole proprietor, since it's all together, technically, if you were to get sued as a sole proprietor, people could come after your personal assets. So at this point, you may wonder, which one may be better for me, um, a sole proprietor or an LLC? I will say a sole proprietor is usually beneficial for people that are just starting out um, or that do not have any like major personal assets. So if you are not a homeowner or something like that, then maybe a sole proprietor would be enough to get you started. If you um, are a homeowner or you have Uh, significant personal assets, I would highly suggest going just right off the bat to an LLC. Uh, Just because you never know what could happen, you want to make sure that that stuff is protected. The other piece that comes with an LLC is you can actually choose to be taxed either as pass-through income like a sole proprietor or as an S-corp, which basically means that it's taxed as a corporation instead of pass-through income. And so that doesn't make a huge difference until you're making enough money. So typically about $30,000 to $40,000, if you're making above that in a year, then you would probably benefit from going with an LLC over, or I'm sorry, an LLC with an S-corp election over a sole proprietor. Because at that point, you can say, okay, as a corporation, I'm gonna pay myself a certain amount of money and then the business is going to keep the rest and uh, or the corporation is going to keep the rest. And so whether you're a sole proprietor or an LLC, you pay self-employment tax. That just says I'm the employer and the employee, so I pay both halves of that. Whereas usually if you're working for like a normal job um, in the corporate world or something like that, you pay employer taxes, but the employee pays the other half of the employee taxes. When you work for yourself, you have to pay both sides. So with a sole proprietor, any money you make, you are then paying employer taxes on. If you choose to go with an LLC and are taxed as a corporation, then you only pay employer taxes on the income you pay yourself, like your actual paycheck. And so let's say you're making $70,000 in your business and you pay yourself 30,000 or 40,000, the rest, um, that extra $30,000 or so that you don't have to pay self-employment tax on because technically that's staying in the corporation and you're not paying yourself as the employee that amount of money. So again, it can get a little fishy. So talk to your tax, um, you know, your tax professional to see which would be better for you. But a general rule of thumb is if you're making more than like 30 or 40,000, then probably an LLC with an S corp election, which is just the way that it's taxed as an LLC is going to be more beneficial for you. So just to recap for you, um, LLC versus sole proprietor, which is better for you if you are brand new and you don't have any personal assets, then a sole proprietor would probably be for you. If you have been in this for a while, you're making more than like 30 or 40,000 a year, or you have personal assets like a home or something like that, then a sole proprietor would be better for you. Um, Again, go talk to your tax professional just to make sure this is just to give you a basic idea of um, sort of the difference between the two and hopefully to help you understand them a little bit more. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about in this video, feel free to comment them below and I will answer them the best that I can. Um, The answer may be, hey, you may want to talk to your tax professional about that, but there may be something I can help with just based off of experience. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that other photographers like you can find it. And we'll see you next week for another video.